Hey guys, I just received my new hacker box. We got the box 89 Y Spy. Let's get it open and see what we got. So it looks like we got two ESP32, the U variants. I've actually got one here closer already unwrapped. Look at it. It's got the antenna adapter. And the box, a couple of bags of goodies. 16 gigabyte SanDisk Ultra. A custom PCB for this Y Spy thing, which is very similar to the War Driver, which I'll show you in just a second. The OLED board and antenna holes. And a Yagi antenna. Yagi Yagi. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I'm excited to have this to see how the different ranges I can get with it. And of course we have this bear sticker. It's really cool. It feels really cool too. It's definitely a higher quality sticker than what I'm used to getting. And then we have our Hackerbox card. Box 89, the Y Spy. Then we have a pinout for the Expressive ESP32 dev kit, 32U. Cool. So let's look at what's in these little bags. So we got a couple header pins. Got some adapters for the different antennas. So like we got two small antennas, what, probably 3dBi or 3db. We got our GPS unit, very similar to the one that goes on to the it's smaller, but it's, well, it might be the same size. Very similar anyway to the one that I put on my uh, ore driver by Jay Hewitt. LCD screen. A SIM 800L module for cellular data. And a SD card reader. Along with a little SD card USB 2.0 reader. Keychain sort of thing. Alright. Now this is very similar. I'm, ex I'm in interested to see the code on the they plan to use for this if it's the same stuff that um, Jay Hewitt used for his war driver. So here's the war driver board and here's the Y Spy board. There are a few differences. So like on the war driver, where is it? I guess it's here. We have a temperature sensor that goes there, whereas this one doesn't. This one has a diode and a few other little parts where this only has one of those few, which may just be, you know, the diode and stuff or the little few extra parts, resistors, diodes, whatever they are, may be specifically for that temperature sensor where this doesn't have that. I like that on this board, ESP, P thirty two A and B are marked out. On this you kinda I mean, if you go look in the documentation you know which one it is, but on this one you have no mistaking of which one it is. So yeah. It's gonna be real cool to put together, see how it works, how it compares to the uh war driver. It is a thicker PCB for sure.
So the Y Spy Hacker Box has been a great little project. Like I originally suspected, me and many others, it is just a, a war driver. But there are some slight differences, and it's a different form factor. Works a little different. It comes with Yegi antenna as well, so a nice directional antenna, which I can't wait to try out. A sticker, a few other things. But it works. It, it, it It's all the exact same parts as your typical war driver by Jay Hewitt. So here's my war driver I currently have. I have a little bigger antenna on it, but you can see it's got both. My war driver has both ESPs. It's got the um, GSM cellular. The GPS is actually on the bottom, but you can see the antenna here. And then the SIM card, just like this. I do kind of like the layout of this board a little bit better. It'd be nice if this was tucked in a little bit more to, so that the SD card didn't stick out as far, but I do like how clean this layout looks. In fact, I'm really thinking about designing my own case for this one and seeing what I can work out. If I do design my own case, I may get rid of this board and just directly solder the uh, LCD screen on like I did with this one. But yeah, it's been a great project. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I highly suggest these hacker boxes. This is the second one I've completed. Uh, it'll be the first video I do on one just because this one jumped to the front of the queue because it is, it is war driving. But it's, I look forward to the ones that come up ne next. I will be doing an instruction set on how to complete a war driver. I still have two complete war driver boards, or in, incomplete war driver boards, and once I get one of those war drivers done, I will also be giving it away. So look forward to that. Um, if you have any questions, comments, let me know.